Hi guys and gals and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another exciting edition of my throwback series. This throwback video will be about fashion and accessories. Now some of these I don't understand, don't think I ever will, don't know if I ever want to. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is overalls. Now, I never understood the overall phase, no offense, I think people look like farmers. Actually, where I work, people have asked if we have overalls. Are they making a comeback? Because they're kind of weird. What do you guys think? Leg warmers. Now, I think those were mostly in the 80s. I wasn't born until halfway through the 90s, but I do remember the leg warmers. They had like the neon color ones. I One of the ones I didn't understand. Which leads me into neon clothing. Why? Why do you want to look neon? Like, I get it for, like, parties. I went to a neon party slash school party. But I feel like with neon colors, everybody will look at you and just go, BAM! Wow, you're so bright. These people can see you a mile away. But I don't, I don't get the bright colors. Shoulder pads. Why? Why do you want to have bigger shoulders? I don't understand the shoulders. Like... You want people, oh look, she's got cool shoulders, he's got cool shoulders. I, no, I, I don't get it. The number one trend, I don't even know if this was really a trend, but I remember it. Like wide bottom pants, like it's all thin and then at the end it just go. And hammer pants. Okay, we're going to talk about these two separate for a minute. Hammer pants though, why? Why are you going to wear pants that are like two sizes too big and you could fit like another person in them? I get it because MC Hammer wore them in the music video. But guys, no. N don't do it. And then wide bottom pants, would that be considered the same as bell bottoms? I just think they're ugly, guys. Why? I guess they're just different than boot cut, because those go wider to go in your shoe or something. But bell bottoms, I just think are no. So I think this one's actually funny. Do you remember, you guys might remember... Years and years ago, people would wear those, like, track suits, and they would say, like, juicy on the butt. Can you guys explain to me why that was a thing? Because it was weird. I never actually wore the juicy on the butt track pants, but I remember this one pair, this one track suit I had. It was pink, but it was, like, a towel material, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Looking back, I realized it's probably the ugliest thing I've ever worn. But then, because it was in fashion, everybody thought it was cool. No. Kind of go back and tell your grade school self not to wear those. And I feel like people who put the juicy on the butt, they just wanted people to look at their butt. I mean, why else would you put something on the butt? So then we have brands kind of like Arrow, Apple Bottom, Juicy, Baby Fat. I actually remember when having baby fat clothing was like the coolest thing. I used to have like all the shoes. Do they actually still make baby fat? If you guys actually know, comment down below because I'm very curious. I remember having all the accessories and stuff. I just thought it was cool. And actually, they just recently got rid of Arrow in Canada. Did they get rid of it in the States? I don't remember. But I remember... Um, going in all the time and they would never have my size. I ha I usually had to buy it online but near the end they actually did have some more of their bigger sizes but of course they were ending here in Canada. Now I don't even shop at it in the States anymore. It's just Crocs. You know those shoes with the holes in them. I actually had this yellow pair that my grandmother bought for me one year. I wore those things to no end. Now they're ugly as crap. Not gonna lie, my dad actually still has a pair. He wears it for like inside shoes. But if you ever wore those in public, I'd probably have to disown him because they are not cool anymore, dad. Time to get some new shoes. Butterfly clips. Those little butterflies that you would clip in your hair. I used to have like a hundred of them. But they're kind of like hair elastics. You always lose them and you never know where they end up, how you lose them. You just don't have them anymore. I remember there would be like, you would never just have one in your hair. You'd have like five, six, seven. Looked like a butterfly swarm was on your head. Another one I didn't understand was chokers. I really thought they were kind of ugly. I didn't understand the purpose of wearing a necklace so close to your neck. Looked like it was like strangling you. The jelly sandals. I, they're just weird. 
When they got hot, they rubbed and they hurt. Actually, years and years ago, I used to have these, uh, or I tried them on at Walmart. It was these Jelly Brat shoes, and on the bottom of them, they had this silvery material. And just from trying them on the one time, my foot, like, broke out, broke out in something. I don't know what it was. And to be honest, it's never actually gone away. My feet still look bad from it. And this was more than 10 years ago. Which probably leads to the reason why I hate feet. I mean, you put two and two together, I can't stand feet. Platform shoes. I get the concept of maybe you put them on because you want to make yourself look taller. But in reality, you just look stupid. Like, how do you even walk in them? That's what I want to know. There's big so you're kind of like clunk, clunk, clunk. Me, who's clumsy? would not go well. I mean, I'm short, so maybe I'd look average height, but I still end up like falling on my face. The big poofy hair. I think that was like in the 70s or 80s. Every time I think of big hair, I think of Spike from Degrassi Jr. hair because her hair is just... Why would you want to do that to your hair? I don't, I don't quite comprehend that. So the last two, I guess you want to say, I'm going to talk about kind of are correlate because they're both bracelets. So the first one is like charm bracelets. Years ago, they had those bracelets where you kind of put those charms in and they had like letters or you could get custom ones with pictures. I actually remember loving mine to death. I don't know what happened to it. I honestly think someone stole it. I don't know who but I remember uh, one night I was bidding on a like Finding Nemo watch one and I wanted the Lilo and Stitch one but I already bid on the Finding Nemo one and I think I won it, and I was like really sad because I wanted the Lilo and Stitch one or something like that. I remember part of that. I remember the watch. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is the other bracelets, Silly Bands. Remember those like plastic bracelets and you put them on the ground and like turn into characters or shapes? I had probably close to a hundred of those, and I thought they were so cool. I even had the Justin Bieber ones. Like, that's how lame I was. It would, the one actually turned into like the silhouette of him, which you have to admit, they were kind of cool, but it, they weren't really practical. But then again, as a child, you don't really need practicality with toys. Or I had ones that were like stars and microphones and animals. They were really cool. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below some of the old fashion trends you remember or ones you participated in or ones, you know, you maybe regret. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big like and be sure to subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next video. Bye!